Hi everyone! Welcome back to our Blackboard Basics series. I hope you've been enjoying these videos and that they've been helpful to you. Today we're going to talk about discussion boards. This is something that most of you have probably seen in your classes already. I know that all of my classes except one use discussion boards. So you really need to know how they work, what the teachers are expecting. Some professors will give you very specific instructions about what to write and how to write it. Others will give you very little, but you need to know the basics of what the purpose of the discussion board is and how to use it. The point of discussion boards is to facilitate a conversation. Your professor wants to hear you talking to each other and discussing an idea. So let's get started. All right, I am over here on my courses page and I'm going to go ahead and choose a course and go to the discussion board tab down there. Now I'm going to scroll down to the one for this week, click on this little link on the left, and it opens up the discussion board for me. Now since nobody has posted yet, there's nothing here, but I can go ahead and be the first one to post by clicking create thread over here. Every time you need to do a discussion board post, you have to click create thread. Now over here, it gives you the description again so you can remember exactly what the prompt is. And then in here you have a subject and a message. The subject, I usually just put the title of the discussion board. So I would say session five discussion board. That's what I usually write. If the professor tells you a specific title to use, then of course use that as the topic. All right, so now what do I actually write down here. I've had some professors in the past who wanted a specific word count, 200 words or 300 words. If your professor says that, follow that. Follow their guideline, write at least 200 or 300 words. If your professor doesn't give you a specific word count to reach, then just use as much space as you need to answer the question fully. But that shouldn't be less than five or six sentences. So here my prompt is, describe which type of training program from those listed in your chapter would work best for you and why. So I'll need to consult my textbook and I'll have my first paragraph be the type of training that I choose. Alright, that's the first sentence. Then the next four or five sentences should be why. And then restate my point one more time. There we go. Now once you've written all of these out in actual sentences, that should be a good length for your discussion board. When you're done, you can just click submit and there it is. You'll be done with your initial posting of your discussion board. Now let's look at writing responses to other people's discussion board posts. Most professors will require you to answer at least two other people's discussion board posts. It's really easy to do that. What you'll do is you'll go ahead and click on a discussion board title and then click on the person's post that you want to answer. So I'll just open this one. You'll read their, uh, their post here and then you'll click reply. Here you don't need to enter a subject because it's already there for you. So you just look at what they wrote and you write a few sentences about what you think. Now, I agree, I disagree, that's a good point, good job, are not good enough answers. You need to actually read what they say and then think about what that taught you. Or if you do agree, explain why. If you disagree, explain why. Whatever you say down here, you need to be responding and adding to the conversation. For discussion board responses, they don't have to be as long as the initial post. Usually, two or three sentences will do it, but the sentences have to have your own thoughts and your own content. Thank you guys again for joining us on another Blackboard Basics video. I hope this is helpful. Please let us know. And of course, if you need anything, don't hesitate to reach out to our international tutoring team. We are more than happy to help you. See you next time.